Hi everyone, Tam Tam Street here. I just wanted to take a minute and show you guys some of my rocks. I went outside and got some of these from the garden, so some of them are a little bit dirty. I ha I'm still trying to figure out how to get all my pictures into a video, like a slideshow for you guys. Oh, sorry about this. So this here is a native kind of a beach rock. And then here's a spring rock. I love the rainbow. If I can get the right lighting on it, um, maybe like that, you can see that there's little ducks there and little um, lilac trees. I like to get into the detail. And then this one here, I just randomly, it was one of my first really cool projects. Um, it was 2019 uh, Summer Olympics, I believe, Lima. And I just, I had the Canadian leaf stencil uh, glasses. It was a pair of glasses, like cardboard glasses that the kids got for uh, Canada Day celebration thing so I decided to just make a rock <laughs> and it took me a long time uh, but here it is and I love it so down here is the awards what they won the 31 gold 54 silver 46 bronze so yeah I really like this one I did try to sell this one on a buy and sell group and all I got back was that it was nothing but um it looked like a turkey and um, people started sending me pictures of turkeys and that they weren't going to spend money on a rock that looked like a turkey. I was like, okay, whatever. So it's been outside and I got a lot of compliments on it and I think the neighbors enjoyed it more than anybody would have. So I'm probably going to keep it anyway. Um, this is my very first rock that I painted. Um, it was in the park, actually. I'd say since summer 2019. And so it was there, it was broken, pieces everywhere, but that just means it was it stayed and it was played with. So it makes me happy. This here, there's a little 3D nose there because I like to use the features in the rocks. There's the Halloween one, one of my favorites. I love the face on it. Connected. These, these are ones that I just have in my um, garden. Cherish your rock, because I think we should cherish every single rock that we paint, because it is our art and it comes from our heart. Even if we don't keep it, giving it away, we're kind of giving a little bit of our heart. Just a silly little skull, and then this one's just a spider. Another Halloween one. I was actually just looking at a Halloween treat bag, saw the spider, and decided to paint it. My ideas come from anywhere at any time, to be honest with you. There's another Halloween one, if you could see there, it's a gold spider. And then the top there, it's a little spider web. And then there's my scream one. I just saw the shape of the rock and knew that it, it looked exactly like the, the scream face. Um, this one here, I thought that the rock looked like a car that had been into a car crash. So I painted, painted the front of it slow down and then the back of it, it's hard to see what I put there. It was a couple years ago I made this one. I think it says kids aboard or something like that. But yeah, I just saw that it looked like a rock that was in a car crash. And so at the bottom, it says KW Rocks on Facebook, which is not where we're going to be putting ours. You're going to be putting them on your very own um, city's Facebook group, but this is how it works. I label them here and it says Keep me rehide me or Replace me take a pic and share with the group So before we start painting rocks if you want to have a look to see if you have a rock painting group in your group or in your city or Even close to your city. That'd be great. If not, there is the kindness rock project that you can post your pictures to um, there's plenty of other ones. Trust me, once you start looking them up, they're going to come across your recommendation pages like crazy. Painting rock, painting rocks is very popular. So my stepson just made a little, a little road um, for the car to go on.
So yeah, you know, maybe, you know, as I paint a rock like that, maybe one day somebody will see it and they'll realize that maybe they're going too fast in their car and they need to slow down. This one here is just a little hand that I made. And what's really cool about this one is it glows in the dark. Let's see if I turn the lights out. Yeah, it's not going to work, but that's okay. Um, the Dollarama um, glow in the dark paint. Um, it wasn't very, wasn't very good. I had to put like t lots of layers on it to use it. So if you are thinking about using glow in the dark paint for your rocks, I highly suggest going on Amazon, looking for it, looking up recommendations, or your local craft store, um, and get a good quality. There's some really cool glow in the dark paints out there. And then this one I just made. Um, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. It's one of my favorites. I love it. I get creative sometimes. Sometimes I just, you know, don't. Little shoe, butterfly. I know some. I showed you guys some of these. Uh, the Pokemon balls are very popular. Um, this one's not quite done yet. This is my granddaughter. She hasn't finished it. Um, so if you find rocks that are round and you have kids that you just want to paint something easy with, or do you know that they're not going to sit too long to do detail in their rock? Pokemon balls are a great idea because it's just simple, you know, and my stepson is no problem teaching us how to make them. This one here, I took real leaves from outside and I mod podged them onto the rock and then I also painted leaves on there. So you can't even really tell which ones are real and which ones aren't. I love, love, love this rock. I'll keep that one forever. This one, my steps I made, it's another car. Just simple, and what he put on it. Make peace, not war. So you wanna put something on your rock that if someone's gonna find it, it makes them feel better, even if it's just something that's pretty. I've done some uh, pour, pouring paint. Um, I have another one that's a lot nicer than this one. And I didn't grab it for this video, but I'll be sure to have it shown. And we'll probably be doing some um, rock pouring paint anyways. It's fun, it's messy, and it is the coolest ever. Um, when I was in the rock painting group, a lady had passed away, and her mom wanted everybody to color up the city with rocks with her uh, mem like memorial rocks for her daughter so I came up with this one and she died from cancer and like I said you're gonna get your inspiration from anywhere and so actually I was looking at the toilet paper and saw the cancer symbol on the toilet paper which is why I simply just came up with that and then I just googled how to do a cardinal and I drew a cardinal and it came out like that and I never in my life thought that I would be able to print something so pretty and it's, it's just gorgeous. And then on the back of it, it says, um, 2019, then I got a heart, a piece, and then I painted the earth in memory of Bethany. So it's just a simple little memorial rock. Um, I did not want to put it out in the city it was something I've had it in my yard since in my kitchen window um, it's been outside for a year and a half through the sun and through the snow which is what I want to come to showing you guys and I because you're gonna know you're gonna see that there's a lot of re, uh, sealant out there for your rocks and so I'm gonna end my video with just showing you the very best kind that I use it's safer for the kids it's safer for you you don't have to go outside to put it on your rocks and I, I use the spray and the spray didn't um, protect my rocks as much as I wanted them to I didn't realize I got my buddy in there this is Arrow say hi Arrow I've had him for 15 years He's an escape artist. He likes to run, run outside. He spent one night out and he's got a chip in his ear. I don't know if you can see it there. But yeah, so this is the kind that I use. You can get it at Michael's or Walmart for only $8.99 to $9.99. And it's what I use. There's mate varnish. There's a clear coat. There's all kinds of different coats that you can use. But... 
and it's eight, like it's eight ounces, and this will do a lot of rocks. Um, where the spray, you go through it like crazy, and your some of your sharpie, your marker work runs, and also the color fades in your rocks if you leave them outside all summer. And when you put that much color into your artwork, I don't want to see you lose that artwork, especially if it's a memorial rock, because we want them to stay forever, right? Because the world's gloomy, and let's color it up with our rocks. Can't wait to paint with you guys. Have a great day. See you soon.